everyone. This is Vatsal Shah again, your host for the day for the virtual track. And now we have two back-to-back -back sessions from India. Uh, first one is with the Kalro, and the next one is mine and with Vikran. Uh, Kalro has been a friend. Uh, I have seen him growing from developer to delivery manager. He works for Brainwire and he is Adobe certified professional and certified Scrum master as well. But uh, Unusually, he's going to talk about the growth strategies and marketing strategies being a delivery manager. It's great that uh, people who do coding understand the importance of marketing. So, Kara, welcome to you. Thank you so much, Vatsal, for a nice introduction. And very warm welcome to everyone over here. Good morning, people in India. Good afternoon, people in Singapore. I hope you have thoroughly enjoyed your lunch break uh, in Singapore or there. Unfortunately, we could not meet in person in this session, but I have tried to be in a formal attire so that I can get a feeling that I am uh, delivering this uh, session in person. So I would like to say uh, thanks to Meet Majembo Singapore and uh, Renoshi especially for allowing me a chance to present uh, myself with this uh, topic, which is you know uh, very much interested for everyone. Yes, being a delivery manager, that's uh, something different, which I'm speaking compared to technical to the marketing uh, side. So I'm going to deliver a session or I would say a speech today on marketing strategies for e-commerce growth. Myself, Alra Vasauda. Uh, Vatsal has given a brief introduction already about me. I'm Adobe certified uh, commerce developer and Adobe certified business practitioner. As well, I did Scrum Master certification. Coming with 14 plus years of IT experience and work with various domains like uh, e-commerce, ERP, CRM, mobile applications and different third party integrations. And my personal interest lies within helping community and uh, you know teaching and training the people uh, who are e-commerce enthusiasts. And I, I did that uh, thoroughly for 200 plus people directly and indirectly, I would train them. And I am like exploring uh, e-commerce uh, with innovative subjects and topic and helping client to take their business into next level with my consulting approach and idea. I work with a Brainwire. So Brain, uh, a short uh, introduction about Brainwire. So Brainwire is a digital enabler and having a 19 plus years of experience and having a 20 plus offices globally. We are having a, most of our customer with 95% of retention and have done many projects into uh, e-commerce, uh, mobile applications, artificial intelligence, blockchain, IoT, etc. Having a sister concern or group of companies, I would say, Esli, Isletics, In Knowledge, Control ERP, Unagi, and Oro CRM. Okay, so let's begin. Why marketing is important? I mean, uh, we all know that uh, in last 1.5 or two years, uh, which we passed with the pandemic, so in the pandemic, uh, almost all of uh, brick and mortar stores even had a, a urgency to uh, transform their business into digital transformation. They have come up with the website. So as you can see, I mean, in the uh, graphical representation I have mentioned, to in order to develop or a build up a website, what do you require? A good products, nice categories, and customers, and orders, right? So if you have, uh, let's say you are going with a, any great uh, platform named as a Magento, named as a Shopify, big commerce, WooCommerce or anything, and you are building a website, you have a, uh, all the features like, let's say even Amazon, all customers, uh, I mean, you are attracting your customers over there. You are putting a very great products over there as well. But if it is not uh, turning up into a sales, then it is of no value to you. So how to convert that, uh, you know, all your efforts into sales, it requires a important uh, thing, which is a market. So now, as you know, like a market is a quite huge. Everybody wanted to be into a digital market. Everybody wanted to build up a platform which has, uh, you know, e-commerce uh, strategies over there and e-commerce uh, selling over there. So marketing allows you to share your products, services, and uh, with your audiences strategically. So without marketing, business does not have, have a voice. And without the voice, you can't reach a people or connect with them. So marketing is a bridge which is connecting a platform or a product, what you are selling with your customers and inspiring them. 
let's say if uh, Renosis did not do marketing or I did not do marketing myself today on a different social media platform, then perhaps I would not have uh, people who are watching me, who are listening to me today, because that's the integral part that I had to do that marketing. So, I mean, uh, that's a basics of social media marketing, social media platform, which are uh, very widely being used by people across the world now. So that's the way where you can reach uh, to the people and you know convey your idea and thoughts to them and inspire them uh, or attract them to come to the a product or a platform you are providing. And as per the US Small Business Administration, which is an organization, it says companies should allocate at least seven to eight percent of their gross revenue towards marketing and advertising. I will come to this all budgeting part and everything later uh, in this uh, session itself. So four P's of marketing are very much important. Product, place, price, and promotion. So let's say if you are a person who is selling a luxurious product, considering let's say Mercedes or a BMW, and if you are selling it to a person who are not capable to buy it, then it's a waste of time for you. So you need to identify who is the right uh, place, which is the right place, what is the right price of a product, and how to do the promotions what are the promotional uh, activities you should do behind the same in order to capture the customer's attention and uh, in turn uh, uh, generate the revenue and the market so uh, we will start with the approach which named as source tech so source tech is a short form i have uh, abbreviated for uh, based on solution analysis objectives strategy tactics actions and control so now let's go into one by one. What are these things? So solution analysis. So you as a customer, you as a e-commerce developer, you as a e-commerce project managers or, uh, or e-commerce enthusiast need to identify your market, your customer, which uh, who are interested in which type of product. You need to see customers insights. You need to do the competitive analysis, like who are your competitors? What are uh, how they are making a sale, how they are achieving their customer basis, how they are generating uh, n number of orders and revenues. So you need to do this analysis. It is, a, in, uh, it is the base of your uh, marketing strategy in order to identify. Then you need to set up the objective. What is your objective? How, um, I mean, why you, why you are doing marketing? See, there are, there are aspects where you are just doing the marketing for brand awareness. Let's say you are establishing yourself new into market, then you have to go to the people, need to make them aware, like, okay, who we are, why, uh, I mean, why we are doing this marketing and what brand uh, we are, uh, we are there into the market and what type of things we are selling. Based on the same only, you are going to uh, get the customer and that is, we call it as a customer acquisition. Customer acquisition, bringing the customers towards your uh, platform or uh, website is a main important thing in and that is like your first success i would say into a marketing because if you are uh, setting up a website and if there are no customers then again even if the visit is uh, a customer visits are not happening then also it does not make a sense but once customers start making visits then there are ways that you can convert them uh, or inspire them to generate that uh, uh, sell your product and generate the sales so what strategy you should follow so customer uh, uh, in order to customer uh, in order to attract the customer the uh, strategy we will follow will be a race model i will go into the race model in a uh, brief uh, in later slide but to just uh, give a brief so race is all about reach act convert and engage so how to reach to the customers what actions you need to take, how to convert their, uh, them into uh, sales, and how to keep engaging that customer. It is not that once you have attracted that customer who is on your website and then you leave him. It is your one-time investment and then you need to keep inspiring or her to bring uh, again and again to the same website and do the sales. And that the, that's the way you can keep doing uh, upgrading your uh, revenue uh, via the same. What tactics you should follow? So uh, tactics are nothing uh, but basically your content marketing. So content is a very important thing I would consider in e-commerce uh, marketing strategy. Uh, your online presence. So where are you selling? Which platforms you are selling? 
whether your website is properly optimized or not, with, uh, how you are making the communications, whether you are having a bots, whether you are having a email communication support or there or not. So all these tactics are very much important in order to uh, you know, engage the customer and bringing the marketing into a streamlined manner. And based on these tactics, what actions you are following. So uh, it is like digital tools and techniques. So we named a couple of digital tool, uh, which is like a so Hotjar or I would say Imarsis, uh, Sales Monago. I will come to all those uh, uh, tools as well in my next uh, couple of slides. So in, that will help you to take the actions and we need to set up or we need to uh, uh, define a dedicated team who can keep doing these actions and keep engaging the customers in order to uh, reach the target what you have set and based on the same control. So brand equity and UX design measurement. So I will come to next that what are the importance of user, uh, user uh, UX design. So if your website is very well organized, it has a lot of things. But if it is uh, asking customer to take, you know, five steps to go on uh, and reach to the cart and let's say cart is not even, uh, you, I mean, uh, not intuitive, then customer will uh, feel uh, very much awkward on the cart page or a website flow. And he might left and uh, I mean, that will uh, result into either abandon cart or you will not able to fulfill your uh, wish for converting him into uh, real sales and generating the revenue. So despite you have spent a lot of efforts in marketing, despite you have spent a lot of efforts into um, developing a nice website, if your UX is failing to impress the customer, then it is not generating uh, expected output or sales uh, which you are expecting. So what roadmap you should follow? So personas and positioning. So as I mentioned, you need to identify who is your customer base, where you would like to sell. So for uh, example, there are a couple of websites who are selling luxurious items as well and who are selling the regular items as well. So you can uh, set up a two different stores, two different domains, and uh, that way you can uh, target a customers uh, just to reach uh, who are expecting a high quality and high, uh, I mean, a price product. So you need to identify that set of customers. And there are, you know, a set of targets with, which you can set via multiple methods, which I'm going to teach you in the uh, next uh, couple of slides. So that you will be uh, understanding like what customers are interested within and based on the same, you should target them. So now any customer or, uh, in, or any owner who, is, who has developed a website, when it comes to the uh, uh, website and when he says like, okay, I wanted to do a digital marketing or I wanted to do a marketing. So what roadmap we should follow? So first thing we should do the website auditing. So we need to check whether the website is uh, properly developed, it has mobile friendly behavior or not, because nowadays you know that people are uh, utilizing mobile much more than uh, laptop. I mean, people who are traveling, people who are uh, you know sitting on any places, they are just interested to put the orders via their mobile itself. I mean, they're not going to see it on a laptop or a PC and specifically open that specific website and put up the order. It might be possible if you have your mobile applications also available, then it will be very handy for them that, okay, it's just let's add the product into the cart, uh, review them and just place the order. And what they're looking, so basically what is their need? So you should have a very nice search implementation done. There are a lot many search engines or search tools available uh, into the market. So you should in integrate a very nice search, which is either having a visual search options with your product, uh, design or uh, product photo displayed over there about the product details which should be directly displaying on the search uh, suggestions itself there should be a nice search suggestions as well available over there then it will help them to just uh, take a next step very easily it should give a customer omni-channel experience like whether they are purchasing from brick and mortar store mobile applications any other platform or your website, then they should give us uh, get a same feeling. And that's what we call as omni-channel. So if they will get the same feeling, then it will be uh, straightforward for them. Like, uh, okay, I mean, 
you can uh, just make the couple of discount and everything extra uh, extra for your mobile applications and everything in order to inspire your customer to utilize your mobile uh, applications and everything but yes you should have a thoroughly uh, same experience in all the platforms or any where customer is going that will make them uh, very much happy in order to uh, you know buy the product they are interested in and if all these things are uh, followed properly in general then definitely there are chances of converting that into a sale and once this all your efforts will uh, result into a sale you will definitely uh, be uh, happy as a customer or as a website owner to uh, see the sales and revenue amount what you are uh, seeing over there and as a developer or as a technical person who is doing the suggestions or doing the marketing definitely when it results into a, uh, something successful it boosts up your motivation it boosts up your uh, uh, confidence what you have done and what you have done is really helping to the end customer in order to achieving something and it is in turn helping the customers who are uh, coming to the website and buying something they are getting uh, inspired to uh, do something better into the website itself and branding and pr so once you as once you establish your connections with the customer then after you need to keep branding yourself you need to make yourself uh, you know aware with all the customers within the uh, within the a specific area region that what your brand is all about you need to keep writing press releases about the something what you are making and that's where you can inspire different uh, people that what you are uh, passing through there are some uh, news which are happening to with within your uh, insight itself so you need to make your all customer base aware what you are doing and how it has helped you to grow further that will uh, also inspire them to uh, you know keep visiting your website keep checking about the same strength and uh, same website and uh, products on to the same so people within the india might be aware like recently nike has launched their ipo and they have uh, get a boost on to the same so nike is one of the greatest example into fashion e-commerce which has started just a few years back and has successfully rolled out to grab the customer's attention and uh, you know that way they have uh, made people uh, very crazy about purchasing the fashion uh, retail and uh, products onto the same moving next uh, platform which we are utilizing so what techniques as a technical persons we can utilize to do the marketing there are a lot of things into marketing like uh, seo uh, content uh, affiliate marketing and everything that i will come later that is definitely a very core part for any website to uh, do the marketing but as a technical person as a developer what you should take care what you should suggest to your end customer in order to uh, you know generate the market i mean generate the sales or in, uh, keep your customers interest within the website so the there are couple of things which are available within the website itself within any platform whether it's a shopify adobe magento or you call it as a wordpress woocommerce or big commerce or anything so upsell and cross sell so these are the uh, very much interested feature let's say if you are buying something and if you are inspiring your customer that hey this also uh, another product which you, which you should look after same category cross category so upsell and cross sell helping yourself it is a type of a marketing where customer is getting inspired to purchase something which is which he was looking after and which is something you wanted to sell as well so upsell and cross sell is a very much important creative and original content so what, when you are creating a content so writing such content will help you for long lasting uh, journey because uh, original content will uh, really put a big impact about your product into a customer's mind so i would uh, give a nice example over here and say that if you are writing a very good creative content it will definitely help uh, you know your with your meta tags meta keywords uh, to search engines also to uh, you know uh, rank your website into a higher rank but apart from that a customer who is reading about your product who is interested in your product will also be uh, will also inspire and uh, feel like okay wow this is something amazing about this product and so your investment about that content will help you to uh, you know generate the revenue for couple of uh, months or years i would say because it is going to be a constant thing over there your price you can be varying your uh, product images you can be uh, modifying but the content what you have mentioned 
will be helping your uh, uh, website or your product details page and everything to rank higher into uh, social uh, so, uh, in uh, google search engine or any other search engine and that way it will definitely give a boost to your uh, website uh, in order to generate the sales easy navigation on cart so as i mentioned so if let's say if you are uh, making a very complex cart and uh, navigation feature that uh, customer uh, i mean end customer who is uh, trying to purchase the product from your uh, website he will be confused he might be uh, not sure like where i need to go in order to you know identify what are the product price what are the product uh, details and how i can add it into the cart where are the uh, you know coupon codes i can apply so i mean if these things are intuitive if it is a very uh, you know simplest steps you have uh, put into the website let's say three or four steps click and just your order is done boom wow then it is uh, something which customer will be interested okay i mean it is saving my time as well it is something what i i wanted to achieve as well and then it will be helping so as a developer as a technical person these are the things you can take in your mind now about uh, uh, ui and ux so as i have uh, represented one uh, analysis from a company called genesis uh, so customer uh, uh, customer uh, experience is the most important and uh, imp uh, important thing in order to grab the customer uh, for the website and generate the sales so 42% uh, retention uh, being improved when the customer experience is better customer who are uh, being satisfied it is around 33% and increase cross selling and upselling so if you are putting cross selling and upselling so your sales being in uh, boost or pushed up by 32% in around in total so this is uh, an old analysis i mean these figures can keep varying so i will not go on a figure or a, a statistical part basically because in a marketing the statistics does not remain same and constant all the time it keeps varying keep changing with the strategies with the uh, situations what you are putting all around over there so it depends on lot of parameters within as a developer you can suggest loyalty and uh, referral uh, bonus programs so if you are making some purchase and if you are referring to someone else so then there are a good chances of uh, chances that you are earning referral bonus and those uh, loyalty points or uh, rewards what you have earned that you can give it to uh, i mean you can convert it into the uh, actual um, uh, you know dollars or uh, whatever currency you are using and then you can utilize that to purchase the next uh, set of products so that way customer will keep en engaging to your uh, portal they will be feeling like okay wow if i am purchasing this i am getting this amount of rewards and next set of things i will be uh, getting a chance to uh, make the newer uh, purchases from the same customer reviews so whoever is purchasing a product and if they are putting a reviews it will definitely help next customer to come on to the website and see because nowadays if you are purchasing something from amazon flipkart or Uh, Walmart. So then, uh, uh, and and customer is uh, going and checking like what are the reviews? How is the rating of this product? So if customer reviews are good, then it will definitely also going to help. So this is a a normalized uh, way I could say from the development perspective that you can consider. And below are a couple of tools which uh, which are being used for customer behavior uh, and analysis. So Adobe Sensei is one of the artificial intelligence based tool provided by Adobe. easily integrated with magento sales manago immersis are also uh, uh, ai based tools which are helping customer to do the behavioral analysis on the same and there is a uh, adobe analytics which is also similar to google analytics but having a uh, advanced features on to the same as well what are the useful parameters you should be taking care uh, when you are planning your uh, marketing so you need to think what budget you need to keep so definitely now uh, people i mean uh, as a delivery manager i have came across many of the customers who are uh, you know giving the requirement to develop the website they are having a you know nice features nice ui and everything everything they have done nicely they are having a very good uh, catalog as well they put the product as well but then the concern is like okay i am not getting sales then why so in order to generate that sales you need to do the marketing so if you wanted to build a bigger website like amazon or uh, you know walmart flipkart i would say so then you need to put a separate part of budget so initial budget will be just making your customer aware about your branding your awareness about the 
catalog and everything you have. So initially your ROI might be a very less. So over here, I mean, I have uh, identify a standard uh, Google ranking and uh, the uh, conversion rate, what, what are possible over there. So based on your keyword search and en uh, search engine rank, uh, what are, if your position is one, then chances that your uh, conversion will be around 43%. And similarly, like if your position is getting decreased, so your average Google uh, click will be also getting decreased. So you need to keep checking the buzzwords about the market and what are the helpful things over there, how you can grab the customer's uh, attraction and convert that into the sales. Based on the type of different business, B2B, you are having a segmentation of a customer. B2C, you are having an endless customer and C2C. So as a customer, if you are selling something, then you need to see like what could be the customer's interest and based on the same, you should plan that. Important thing nowadays is Google My Business page. So if you are typing something into Google and if it is not coming just on, on to the right side of your page, then people are not getting uh, you know details about your business. So if you are having a GMB properly set up, if you are having a Google Ads, then you know it attracts customers. So when you are whenever you are making any search, so in the next time like Google's already having a, some of the algorithm which inspire them or suggest them a specific products using their uh, cookies mechanism within the browser itself. Geofencing. So if you wanted to target a specific customer into a specific set of region, then you can you know, set that geofencing within the Google uh, search engine itself. And uh, it will be targeting that customer who is visiting specific area or who are from specific area. So if I would say, I, want, I wanted to set up one website, which is I wanted to exclusively market to people in Singapore and Malaysia, then I can just set that geofencing uh, boundary in Singapore and Malaysia so that the people will be targeted more over there. And my sales uh, uh, sales efforts which I'm putting or budget which I'm allocating will be focused on to that specific customer target. So as I said previously, the model which we are following uh, or I would recommend is a race. Race model is reach, act, convert and engage. So I have given a brief about uh, each of these things because marketing is a very large subject as you all know. I mean, people are doing a two years master degree program, basically MBA into marketing. So it's really not possible to cover all the aspects, every details into 45 minutes, but I will try to highlight and I will try to give a high level insight what should, what should be the ideal uh, scenarios and how, how it can be planned so that you can, uh, being a technical person, being a marketing person, or being a customer from all the different horizons, you can reach and you can, uh, you know, think like what should be my next step, how I can uh, market my website. So influencer marketing, SEO, paid campaigns. So these are all reach, how you can reach to your customer, how, uh, how you should allow a buyer to explore about your product. So uh, there are a different number of ways. Uh, you can do the advertising, you can do the affiliate marketing, you can do social media campaigns. So this way you can uh, reach to your customer. Now, after reaching to that customer, the customer has visited your website, he has seen the product on your website, but now it is not, let's say, turning into a sales. So what you need to do, you need to inspire customer to act on it. You need to inspire customer to make that product add into the cart and make that purchase. Once this will happen, it is converting into a sales. So that is helping in your conversion. Now things does not end or stops from here because once customer who came to your website, if he is not coming again, then like the investment what you have made on, on his first purchase is not satisfactory or not worthy. Because if he is keep coming, if he is a repeating customer, if you are keep him engaging on the website, then it is really a achievement of yours because you are inspiring your customer to keep engaged, keep purchasing your, on your website. So with one time of your investment, with one time of your attraction to the customer on your, on your website, you are keep allowing him to make the next purchases. And that is the success ratio of your website I can, I can consider. So how to give them a different offers, discount, when products are added into the abandoned card, so how you can send that personalized email based on their birthdays, anniversaries, or any specific dates. If you are having those data and if you are approaching them with sending newsletters and everything, or let's say there is a Thanksgiving day, there is a Black Friday which is coming now, 
So this is the right time. I mean, you can approach them like, hey, you were interested in this product. You have served or searched this product at XYZ specific time. So now this product have a reduced price or it is having a discount. It is having a something new available onto the same. So that if you can uh, give them benefits, then they will definitely inspire and keep uh, purchasing the products from your website. So uh, now we will talk a little more about the different strategies um, from the marketing perspective. Um, so what I previously I have showcased or explained was almost everything from the technical aspect, which a developer can also think, which a project manager can think, or which, uh, I mean, can be done by a technical person. Now, the next part of uh, the presentation, I could say, have been uh, specially crafted or mentioned for people who are doing digital marketing or the customers, as a customer or as, as a website owner, what things you should be, uh, you know, keeping in mind when you are doing the digital marketing of your website. So you should do a strategical SEO on the same. So SEO search engine optimization is the primary thing. If you are having a good organic traffic on your website, then definitely it is going to help, uh, you know, increasing your rank into the market and, uh, and it will uh, like within, within your, within the customer's search, your website is coming up onto the, uh, any search engine ranking and that will inspire them to, okay, wow, well, let me make this purchase because when you are into, uh, you know, searching something and when you are running short of time, so nobody would be going into second or third pages. I mean, on the first pages, whatever results are being displayed and um, just click on that and whatever results or whatever website it takes you, you will be uh, doing that purchase. So you need to identify the good keywords, uh, good uh, strategy uh, in terms of content, how you can, you know, amplify this content marketing uh, within with different types of blogs. Nowadays, a voice search is a very much important feature in uh, most of the website. So with your voice search, if it is allowing a good uh, search results and details, then it will be definitely helping the customers. Then uh, you can, uh, that way you can improve uh, your uh, e-commerce conversion about the website and you know get the more number of uh, customers over there. Already I have spoken about abandoned card sequence. So it is also one of the part which you can consider under the umbrella of uh, search engine optimization uh, strategy itself. From digital marketing uh, services, so which uh, uh, tools or which are the things you should or which channels you should be uh, thinking about. So uh, there are uh, different type of search engines, Google, Bing, Yahoo, uh, ShareASale. So you need to think about all these channels, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, Pinterest, so uh, all, there, are, there are a lot of such platforms or social media uh, which are available where you can, you know, uh, put your product, where you can allow customer to uh, take interest within your product and that way you can inspire them come to their, uh, come to your website and make a sale over there. So in the multi-channel approach, we should be thinking and targeting for search engines, website marketing, mobile marketing, social media and affiliate. So affiliate marketing is one of the a great uh, thing where like you uh, you hire a couple of affiliates you give them a uh, x amount of commission and then uh, like they will be helping you to generate the sales about your website so within the search engine optimization you should uh, you know target and uh, take care about website analysis and audit so whatever website have been developed whether it is having a good speed from the uh, home page or uh, like product details product listing different pages whether it is having a very good Google ranking uh, in terms of page speed insight, whether it is having a, a nice GT matrix ranking or not. So all these things and uh, parameters you need to take care. Uh, so you need to do get it done, audit from a, a right agency or a right person who are having an idea about these things. And that way you can get uh, capture uh, that, okay, what are lacking things in your website? Improvise on it. Your page speed has to be very minimal very fast so that then only customers will be interested into uh, you know purchasing your product if your website pages are taking a couple of amount of time then they might lose the interest and they'll leave the website so you need to do that uh, optimization as well quality link acquisition and outreach campaign so they it will talk like your uh, linking and everything has to be uh, set up uh, uh, in different uh, social medias and you need to set up the uh, you need to reach to the customer with the uh, different links and backlinks and everything. Content marketing, 
so you need to write a good content it has to be copyrighted content it's it cannot be you know taken or referenced from some of the website because your original content or creative content will definitely inspire customer to read about the product and then it will keep i mean inspire them like uh, to come again and again onto that website okay wow this website is having a something great uh, in terms of content for all the products so they will be keep inspiring and doing that so for that you can have a, a different blog post you can reach to the blogger who can put uh, different blogs as well about your products and uh, you know uh, benefits of the same like okay this customer were happy after purchasing these products and everything so such kind of marketing and promotional blogs you can do so the, here on the right side i have mentioned couple of uh, such um, tools or platforms which you can utilize for uh, utilizing the content marketing digital marketing or paid advertising so till the, this we have talked about couple of uh, you know organic uh, traffic bringing to the website now after that one more important thing is a paid advertising so uh, i mean uh, website owners are spending a lot uh, on the paid advertising it is a google ads or facebook campaigns or linkedin ads uh, uh, or other social media ads as well so how you should plan what should be your uh, you know targeting customer how you can do remarketing retargeting to the specific customer so that will help you and if your customer is coming via retargeting and remarketing that's your best success i would say because i mean if he has search and if you are uh, you know again contacting them via maybe email or something else and if they are like you know purchasing your product then it is like something what you have invested behind the customer have really in turn uh, worth and it has been uh, resulting to the conversion so in that you can do uh, planning how to create the post how to make it uh, creative post with the graphics on the same social media creatives you can design so you need to take a help of a proper graphic uh, person who can you know uh, do the graphical representation and inspire the customers like wow this is something amazing i mean uh, as you know like there are some advertisements which are coming on the media and you are attracted so much that even if it is a one minute or two minute advertisement you are stick with it you are uh, seeing the advertisement so people who recently have uh, you know uh, watched the world cup uh, uh, t20 men's world cup so there was one of the uh, most uh, you know uh, sounded advertisement i would say moka moka so everybody were uh, you know so much interested that that moka moka was the tagline and, and that way like they have marketed the india versus pakistan uh, match uh, cricket match in a very large manner and now moka moka is uh, you know is a buzzword for everybody so you should create your advertisements in such a way that people are uh, you know attracted to see that i mean it does not feel them like okay they are wasting their time by uh, utilize i mean with watching this uh, advertisement so if you are creatives if you are posting on the social media if it is very much useful to them if it is attracting to them they will spend time otherwise like they will keep uh, scroll from mobile or on the website and just go away so then your efforts are vanished out on the same similarly if you are doing mobile applications and mobile uh, marketing then you need to take care about the keyword you need to make your uh, app title and description very optimized and you need to build the backlinks and drive traffic on the website uh, on on your application itself there are a couple of email marketing tools uh, as i mentioned previously emrs um, uh, then uh, adobe analytics and everything you can utilize on top of that there is a mailchimp uh, dotmailer klaviyo so there are there are lot of email marketing tools where you can do the automation uh, sending promotional emails and campaigns and then you can reach to the customer using your newsletters and uh, details for affiliate marketing i have already mentioned so these are a couple of tools share sale affiliate junction even get so you can uh, identify the platform what you need to utilize in order to identify your uh, affiliate customers and affiliate partners and uh, reach them with the good commission good amount of uh, you know uh, rewards to them and you can generate the good sales and yes uh, uh, last but not the least if you are doing sales via your uh, third party website as well i mean not only your website but if you are making sale on to different marketplaces amazon rakuten uh, ebay walmart or any uh, across the world uh, then you need to do that product page optimization your uh, advertising need to be set properly and on their marketplace as well you need to set up the 
to keywords. And these are some of the tools for behavioral and customer analysis named as a hot jar, which can identify how customer is visiting a page and from where he is leaving the website and why he is leaving the website. These are the key performance indicators. I would say KPI for, uh, you know, uh, identifying the customer. So uh, from social media, you can increase the followers, then you can engage the customers. And if they are engaging and visiting the website, it results into the conversion of a sales. So similarly for SEO, pay-per-click, email referrals and uh, your content, there are uh, steps where like you can uh, allow customer to generate the impressions uh, inspired to visit the sites and conversion for the revenue itself. So concluding uh, the session, uh, sorry for uh, like last couple of slides, I have been a little faster, but I mean, a uh, couple of things I have already mentioned and uh, I mean, from that, like content have been there. I will share this slide further with all of you if required. And uh, I mean, you can refer to all the things and details and you can ask any questions or queries if you have uh, about the same. So the conclusion is uh, marketing is a coveted and essential to grab the attention of your audience. You must do that. You must have to plan your budget and with different types of marketing, you can achieve uh, you know, with the free and paid tools. You can grab the customers and uh, you know do the good revenue on the same and it needs to be done wisely and smartly to achieve the best result otherwise it might end up into just burning the money so thank you so much for being a nice and patience full audience and uh, uh what's up you can start uh q a for the same yep uh, thanks for the insightful session and uh, we have a couple of session uh, questions but i think uh, the next session is approaching and uh, but let's have one short question do you sure. think sustainability forms an integral component of e-commerce growth? Because you mentioned an example of Nika. So Pardon? you mentioned an example of Nika. So yeah. related to that, we have a question that, do you think sustainability forms an integral component of e-commerce marketing growth? Definitely, yes. So, you know, I mean, if you are having a, you know, a constant growth and I mean, if you are reaching to your customer, then only like it will be helping you to achieve the uh, target and uh, set it, uh, set audience what you have planned in order to uh, grab the more sales and revenue on the same itself. That's great. Uh, thanks, Kalra, for uh, being a fantastic speaker. I can Thank see you so but, much. I can see on the stream there is a lot of upload, a lot of memes coming up, and people are uploading your session like anything. So, Thank you so much. as a speaker. Uh, good luck for your next sessions and, uh, and good luck to you also for next session will be yeah. uh, you know uh, inspiring further to see your session as well thank okay. you so much thank thanks you. everyone have a good day enjoy the meet magento singapore wish we can all meet and see each other next year with this pandemic vanishes out thank you so much have a good day